This video is going to show you a Solar Master Vox Obscura, the exotic mission uh, from this season. The modifiers are Champions Barrier and Unstoppable, Pestilence, Equipment Unlocked, Match Game, Champions Mob and Shearlead Foes are Solar and Void, and Chaff Radar is Disabled. So this run is going to be showing you some uh, skips and some uh, things that I've found out with this mission since now. It's been out a little while and a couple of things have changed since it launched uh, with weapons and stuff. So, we're running a Hunter. For this to work, to be effective with this, uh, I advise the following stuff. Gambler's Dodge, Vorex Grenade, Trapper's Ambush, Vanishing Step, Fragments are Echo of Undermining, Remnants, and Expulsion. The reason for these two aspects is for double invis, so you can get invis via Trapper's Ambush, which is linked to your strength, and then Vanishing Step, which is linked to your mobility. In terms of weapon loadout, we're using a blinding air grain launcher. I would say it's going to help you out massively if you want to do this. Any unstoppable weapon that you want to use, you could go glaive if you really wanted to, but they've nerfed glaive slightly. In all honesty, you don't need the glaive. Uh, either a hand cannon or a pulse rifle will do you. And then the exotic sword, the lament. They fixed the lament. When this mission first came out, lament wasn't working. However, now it is. Right, it laments working properly, so you're going to see uh, how good that, how good this weapon is in this mission. <laughs> Armor mods are as follows. Well, first of all, stats. I've got 100% mobility, 100% strength. It become clear in the run why I've got those two stats are prioritized. Right, I recommend that when you want to start skipping stuff, those are the stats you go for uh, for the MV setup on the hunter. So we have a Lucent Blade build, well, mini Lucent Blade build. So we've got Lucent Blade on here, Sword Armor Finder, Unstoppable Pulse Rifle, Reap and Wellmaker. So when we use our class ability, our next weapon, Final Blow, will be a Elemental Well, a Void one. We have Powerful Friends and Radiant Light to assist us with these two stats, which both need to be arc. So I'm using the Exotic Chest Blade. The six coyote with a concussive dampener is very important with the solar damage resistance arc damage resistance mod but the concussive dampener is very important and you'll see why in the run sword scavenger uh, also on the boots and we're also using a um loose and finish it with elemental charge so elemental charge means we get charged with like when we pick up a void well thus giving us loose uh loose and blade so that's the setup that i'm going with um i'm not saying that you have to do it like this but there's a couple of things I've found out about the mission, and a lot of things have got on suits, um, the playstyle to what, you, you, what you're what you going to do to um, sort of skip champions and stuff. That was the setup I was using. So as we start the run, we'll summon our Sparrow and head to the left side. Don't enter the bunker yet and steal the Interceptor. Uh, the reason for that is there's champions. There's a barrier champion up top and there's an unstoppable down below. You don't need to take the barrier, um, but you do need to take the unstoppable, I would say. Uh, so we'll um, use a grenade, use lament, get the champion finishable. If we get a break, we do. If we don't, we don't. Generally, lose some finisher works. It's not guaranteed, but nine times out of ten, it will work and should. We'll take out the remaining scions. And as I said, there's some adds up top where the cliff is and stuff, but. We're not going to take the barrier because we, that's all a skip. This run is based around trying to skip as much as you can, right? And being able to do the run. Um, which is which is why I'm doing it on a Hunter to show. And there's a lot of people asking me to play Hunter lately. And I haven't been playing much, so I'll try and include more Hunter stuff going forward. So you have three signs here, right? You can take those. Um, again, you don't have to. You could technically skip all this. Um, but we'll take them nonetheless. There's two turrets up top. Just try to head glitch them, which you can, um, like so. Pretty simple to do. Then there's an unstoppable champion around this corner. Don't stun the champion if the champion is facing, uh, not facing you. Let the champion aggro you, then you can do the stun. Because people will stun the champ. Uh, it won't stun the champ correctly if the champion isn't even looking at you. I don't know why, but that's just a thing. We'll make sure Lament's recharged. I've got Charge of Light because I'm loose and played. Right, so that's going to come critical. Also, pay attention to my grenade. My grenade's nearly up. And I'm going to do some invis past here. Trapper's ambush and then a, then a gambler's dodge. 
past the champion stuff. Be careful, there's a Scion that's, uh, that can one-shot you on an Interceptor to your right. Uh, the, the key is not to be hit by that, obviously, and then take out the three turrets. You, you can see we're now timed. There's three turrets to take. You must take these turrets out first before you take the tank. So do it in this order. Uh, it's very critical that you, you do it. If you don't, one little sidestep, like right here, I'm messing up a little bit, getting flinched. One little mistake costs you time or even a death. So then we're going to uh, take care of the tank. We'll do a couple of... Um, GL shots, then we use our oppressive darkness nade, and then just go in with lament. You should be killed in one sort of thing, but just about. Does it watch? Because sometimes this tank and one shot, it's RNG. Sometimes I've seen where you start doing damage and the tank just knocks you and one shots you. It's, it's kind of a weird thing. Now, that's critical that you jump into this uh, Drake tank as quickly as possible the, the longer you leave it even a second or two too late will mean that the barrier and the ship the cabal ship will melt your tank meaning that you're not going to have enough hp on your tank for the next cycle for the next phase because you can't get a fresh tank until you destroy the two tanks so this tank's got to last you pretty much for these two tanks so it's critical like, I got 10 to 15% HP took off me, so it's okay, not too bad. Bear in mind, the higher your power, the better your tank is. Your ta the tank is tied to your power level, just know that. So just try and hit the legs, you do more damage, but if you don't, obviously keep it. And don't get hit by the big solar attack that I did there once. I'm um, half HP. And just keep putting shots into the second tank. I haven't took the best route here, to be honest, on this uh, phase. Then we'll jump out the tank. The tank is literally one shot. We'll go invis for that. If you want to finish your tank off, then you can use your lament. And then invis right out of there. Immediately. You will then get a refresh and then it's your new objective, of course, to take out the three towers. The more accurate you are with these tanks, the better it's going to be for this. I mean, we've got two minutes, plenty of time. Um, but what I like to do is take right side tower first because that's where I spawn my Drake tank from. Then I head for left because it's just a good angle to get the, the shots on while I'm moving. The, the, the goal here is to hit the targets and not be hit too much. However, there's more than enough time to get two tanks. So if it's going to take you two tanks to get the three towers, that's fine. Once the tank explodes, jump out of it, invis, go over to the right side. Because now you can get a refresh on your tank, on the Drake tanks. So then it's fine. Like I'm finishing this with 1 minute 15. So I've got plenty of time for this. Right. Then um, we can get a fresh tank. Just be careful. Uh, a lot of the ads are still aggroed. And the freshes and um, stuff like that. So the freshes de-aggro. Once the objectives sort of clear. They de-aggro. Now what, what the next goal is. To take out the unstoppables. Because they're just getting in the way. Because uh, you want to prep, I'm going to prep this uh, right side. Again, I probably didn't need to do that. You could just inv invis past everything. Um, but I just chose to take them out. If, you know, if you're going to do a non-hunter run, then this is what you would do. Take out the two unstoppables. Um, I'm going to get a stun here. and just see what the damage the tank does. Literally one shot champs. Uh, if you get a stun before shooting them. Then we clear out uh, any freshes that are aggroed. Not all of them are. But the main thing is clearing out this right side. There's a there's a sniper, there's two turrets to take. There's obviously two barriers and all that stuff. You want to skip that stuff. Unless you're doing the pinnacle. If you're doing the pinnacle, the pinnacle requires a, a certain percentage of Cabal Mages killed. Which includes champions. So you can literally do it in one run. Just farm champions, die, rinse and repeat, kill champs. Once you get the next checkpoint that I'm coming to. That's what I do when I'm doing my pinnacles. Obviously, I don't really need to do that now because I'm, you know, I reached the pinnacle score a week, a couple of weeks ago, so I don't really need to do that. So right side is clear. It, the two turrets left and right are taken, which I got with the with the tank. Uh, the snipers taken out. There is tanks, uh, not tanks, but uh, turrets and things in middle. We're just going to skip all that. All the ads of DI grow notice as well. This is an opportunity to put a baron if you need to. Um, but this run here wasn't a flawless run, so it's better in mind. But as you start here, 
what I've found with doing this mission is if you come under here for a hunter at least do your tethers under here hopefully you take out the cleaver if not you don't but the two unstoppables push you under this little bridge area which is handy um, it just means that you can, you can clear out a lot of the dogs which do an insane amount of damage to you so do the silence I don't know why they do so much damage get this champion finishable get our break and then get out of there uh, then we'll get a blind here at the door. It's critical that you do that because this is where your skips are going to come in. Get another blind here. Then we'll do a trapper's ambush uh, invis past all these uh, ads and the champ. Then we want to face forward to the first door. Invis immediately take out the two solar shields because we've got lament on. So I like to come up here right away. Get these out of your way. Right, then we'll take out the scion. Uh, not the sound, but the thing that you've got to melee, the commanders. Get another blind in. You can take out these legendaries if you want. You don't have to. It's not a requirement. But um, the, the thing is, you don't want to get peppered while you're taking out the ultra. Take out the ultra with lament. Obviously, we're spamming lament here, which you're going to see me do that. Because it's kind of critical for the time. This this whole thing here, I'm showing you, is the optimizing of the time. I was so surprised that you could do this. You might be too. So you want to do um, Trapper's Ambush and then lead with a, another smoke, another dodge, sorry, which extend, extends the time without losing invis, which is really nice. Uh, and then we'll take out the Phalanx to the uh, that side I've just done there. It's critical that you do that because the Phalanx will just will take you know a lot of damage to you. Now what we're doing here is... Um, I'm just going to take my time a little bit to take out this lingerie. But What you can do is get a stun and then go for the uh, yellow bar. Because I'm not planning to kill that unstoppable. So all the ads in the central central section here, you don't need to take them out. So I'll do it in this before the door opens, then I'll uh, go right side. If my HP is full, I'll go over, those, um, over that thing that damages you or whatever. I'll get a stun here, maybe a nade, just to clear out some of those cabal first, and then we're going to head over this side. We'll do a trapper's ambush, which does two two things. It takes down the void shield, which is in our way, um, and it takes out the commander. This is a safe uh, position here, what I'm taking. What I'm trying to do here is uh, get a finish kill, because my ammo, I want it as high as possible for the boss fight. Obviously, I've got sword ammo finder on, which is going to help. I highly recommend that you put that on um, just because you're not going to be finishing champs at the boss fight. That's not part of my strike. You can, but I wouldn't recommend it because there's too much going on. So we took out the uh, Cabal Ultra. We've got our scan. We'll do another stun here. That's critical you do that. Before you do this invis skip right here. So we start with the Trapper's Ambush. Keeping an eye on our invis. Then we do another Gambler's Dodge, which gives us our Trappers back, obviously. And you can just skip all these champs. These two champs and the turrets. It's quite insane. Come to this door. Wait out the door. The door will then open up. Do another invis if you have to. The adds will despawn behind you, but it takes a while. So don't start damaging the boss until they've uh, gone. Then we can do a tether here. I got unlucky. The boss just... I don't know what happened. He got, it's almost like he got tractor cannon and I haven't even got tractor cannon on. So I got unlucky here, right, with, with the tether. But if you do the tether right and he doesn't get, jump out of your tether, then you'll do a third damage easy, no problem. Then we'll get an invis straight away. Uh, we can take out middle sound commander first because I find the middle the most awkward. And then what I'm going to do is take out all the commanders first, because obviously the three commanders, middle, left, right, uh, and mainly just focus those first. If I want to take one of the turrets from here I can get a blind taken with the pulse all right then we'll get this uh, commander here and then it's map rotation at this point know that the boss rotates between void arc and solar so phase one and two he does void and arc phase three he does solar uh, also we're going to take out the remaining turrets now I'm baiting the ads from left to right which gives us that respite to take the turrets because what the longer you stand on a platform the ads will eventually gather up on that platform. So if you go in the middle platform, you stay in there, age, you're taking those turrets. Don't stay there long, you've got to be fast. 
There's a lot of you can see all the ads. They're they're all following me here. So I've got to just use the grenade there just to take out a couple of them at least. Now we're looking for the boss. The boss does his void move. When he does his void move and suppresses you, if you're if you're behind cover, it won't work. So that's one thing to know. Uh, you can notice he's changed to solar, so it's actually based on his HP. Uh, I'll get a uh, invis dodge there because that uh, will track. That will stop the solar move from attack uh, tracking you. Now we're on the final phase. You can see we've got four minutes left, so we've got more than enough time to deal with this. So now I need to slow down a little bit because this phase is the hardest. There will be more champions. I think there'll be two champions, two barriers. When you're jumping over the mid like this, just make sure that you're in this first. Then we're going to use the grenade launcher. And slowly make our way around. I'm not dodging round. I know I've got slide shot on. I'm not dodging round just in case there's a champion around there. See that champ? That's why I wasn't doing it. Because these champions can melt you. That's why I've got concussive dampener on. Because the concussive dampener will stop the barrier from one shot. you. If you don't have concussive on and a barrier stomps you, you're dead. Even at power, which I can't believe. Um, it's just the thing it is. So, we took, we've dealt with the turrets in mid, which is great. Right? Uh, we've got a commander still to take. Pretty weak here. Always prioritise your health. And then we're just going to, you know, cycle around. So, on this phase, I decided to deal with the turrets first. Because there's so many ads and the champs and stuff. I felt right. The sound, the sound commanders can wait. I can slow down. I've got plenty of time. That's what's so good about this strat. From the earlier section of skipping all those champions, right? It's helped out for the boss fight, which is why I think people will be able to solo this. Uh, and this run itself, I, I had things that went against me, like with the super and stuff like that. You know, so there's more room for error on the hunter run because of this. But as I said, you need to match the aspects. Don't be going stylish execution. Uh, I know that's a good fragment in its own right. But when you want more invisibility, this is a better setup for me. Because, as I said, you, you have the 100% strength, which gives you more traps ambush. So not only are you getting that, but you're getting 100% ability. So you, you max on your double dodge with 6 clarity. I feel as though this is a really good invis setup. I haven't experimented with all of them, like Omni Oculus and stuff like that, like uh, since all the changes, but um, I do feel as though it's decent. So we'll do a tether here, um, double tether at least, and then we'll get our element damage in. It's decent this time, he doesn't jump out, but he does here. So uh, uh, this is like a pantomime almost, so kind of fed up with it. That's one thing about this mission. But uh, we'll finish him off here on the middle platform. That was the Solar Master uh, Box of Security, skipping some champions. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.